before we head into our agenda, I'm going to ask Chief Jim Davis to join us at the podium and give us an update on our firefighters. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Mayor Parker, members, council, Mr. Cook. Uh, Jim Davis, the fire chief. Um, it's uh, with been a been a long morning, and with a heavy heart, I, I stand here to tell you that a little after 2.30 this morning, there was a report of a house on fire in southeast Fort Worth. Um, and the first arriving fire companies on the scene found uh, fire coming from this home. The second arriving fire truck, or anticipated arriving fire truck, coming from fire station number three um, on Ramey, just off of Miller Avenue, uh, was involved in a single vehicle accident on the way to that run, uh, approximately five minutes after the initial dispatch of the emergency. Four firefighters were transported to two hospitals, uh, JPS and Harris downtown. Um, they, uh, two of them have been discharged, two of them remain hospitalized. Um, the, uh, the families are with them, uh, the Fort Worth Fire Department's with them. There have been uh, injuries that range from strains and sprains to fractures, um, and there is one firefighter who is in the intensive care unit at JPS in critical condition. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with him. I, I have to tell you, I am so pleasantly pleased to tell you the love and support that we've received today throughout the Fort Worth community, and I cannot thank the community enough for that. Um, there's a lot of people to thank so far today, too, outside of the just community. There's. Uh, the police, uh, the accident is still under investigation. Uh, Chief Noakes and, and his team obviously are leading that. We will cooperate fully in that to figure out the events that happened and, and how this occurred. Uh, the police were uh, incredibly helpful getting uh, this uh, member's family uh, to JPS. They came from out of town and, and they were uh, met uh, at the city limits to make sure that they didn't get lost getting to the hospital. And I wanna thank Chief Noakes for that and his team. Uh, the folks at MedStar, uh, the folks from CareFlight, um, the uh, amazing work and the amazing staff at JPS, both in the emergency department and the intensive care unit, the trauma team there, uh, the folks over at Harris. Um, so uh, there's a lot of people to thank. There's a lot of blessings uh, to have today. But I, I, I ask that you keep our, our department and these four folks and their families in your thoughts and prayers. And as I say to you, one of them is, um, is, is really in a fight right now. So uh, with that, I will um, answer any questions that you have. Uh, and I am I'm prepared to give you the best of the information I have at the moment. Thank you, Chief. Council, any questions for Chief Davis? <laughs> Mayor Pertim? Yeah, I, I don't have any, any questions. But Chief, when we heard this, the entire city was unalarmed because the firefighters, they're the ones we call when there's a problem. Uh, have you heard about the house? in terms of the house. Um, my question's to you, Chief. Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. He's, He's switching mics. Okay. Yeah, switching mics. That is a better one. Have you heard about the conditions of the people in the house that initiated the call in the first place? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's my understanding, Council Member, that there are no other injuries that, that were, no, no one else was transported and there are no other injuries. Um, so it's my understanding that they are okay, they're fine. And what about family members who might need to stay overnight? Are we assisting, instructing in any kind of way? So two, two avenues are being dealt with. Uh, the, the, as the uh, situation in the morning uh, transpired, we put together an incident management team. We put a small team together and, and met, uh, put them in the emergency operations center so we could make sure that uh, city leadership and uh, uh, police and fire and everybody was at the table figuring out what needed to be taken care of. And that included getting family here and making sure that arrangements were taken care of for them to be moved around the city and uh, hotel accommodations if necessary. Uh, they have children, um, you know, they have animals that they had to bring because they're coming for several days from out of town. So we've had to manage that. So that's, that is one thing. And then, and then if, you know, no good relationship. I, I can't stand in front of you without saying something positive about uh, Local 440 and their um, support of not just their member, but their their appreciation and their support for the hospital staff and you know things that they're trying to do to show their appreciation through 
uh, meals and things like that for the staff that are actually uh, working hard to take care of our folks. So I, I do think we have those two, two things covered and we have them covered from uh, two different angles to a very positive labor management relationship. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Council, any other questions? Chief, thank you very much. We yes, know that you have not slept yet, and no, so our blessings and prayers to your entire department, and special thanks to JPS and THR Harris, of course, as well, and Absolutely. that trauma team that responded. Absolutely, uh, thank last you, night. Thank you very much, Chief.